They let niggas down the slide. Oh, and a six four whipping, whipping, whipping. Almost hit the curb side. Oh, and a six four whipping, whipping. Our parents told us all our life. Parents told us all our life. You gonna have to work. You gonna have to work, work, work. You gonna be living paycheck to paycheck. DG boy Musa here to speak. Nappy boy Musa here to speak. Nature boy Musa here to speak. What's popping? What's popping? Hope you've been taking care of yourself. Hope you've been doing the things you love to do. I hope you've been staying out the matrix, doing some shadow work, focusing on your inner self. Focusing on your inner self. Today, man, it's gonna be a little quick topic about what's going on in the world and about why you shouldn't rush. Thank you, baby. About why you shouldn't rush to be an adult and to and to be ready to just move out your parents' house. A lot of y'all youngins don't know what's going on. A lot of y'all youngins are using the media for entertainment purposes. You're not you're not using the media for educational purposes. You most likely listening to the news, sitting down side by side with your mom, dad, or grandma, or grandpa, listening to the news, the forecast of what's going on with the weather. I'm good, be. And you're not aware of what's going on. You don't spend much time outside. You spend more time inside looking at a digital stream. You spend more time inside because you don't like to go outside because you feel like there's nothing to do outside. Your cell phone or your computer or your video game grabs more attention from you. You don't know what outside even feel like to be out there for a few hours. This is why I'm gonna tell you to not rush to be an adult. This is why I'm gonna tell you to not rush to move out. The second you move out, bro, you literally are signing yourself up for the matrix. The second you move out, them bills are going, those bills are going to start to fly super fast at you. So fast, they're gonna make your head spin. The way how bills are going, the way how things are going. Rent through the roof, bills through the roof, car payments through the roof, especially, especially electricity. Definitely through the roof. Don't rush to move out. Don't rush to move out. Stay with your parents as long as you can. I know some of y'all ain't vibing with your parents. I know some of your parents are low vibrational beings they they say this they say that they say all type of things at you to make you get riled up make you get mad and stuff but look at it for look at it as you're going through that for a reason you're going through that for a reason look at it like that look at it as it's a learning curve towards why i'm not moving out right now look at it as like that look at it as like if I move out right now, I'm going to be facing a lot of bills. I'm going to be facing a lot of negative things from the government. You might get paid every once, once every week. If that, you're getting paid twice. Um, are you getting paid every two weeks? But yeah, you live in paycheck to paycheck and that's exactly what you're going to do when you move out you're going to live paycheck to paycheck you're going to rely on the job to help you get ahead in life you're going to rely on these type of things you ain't going it's hard to be creative when you work in a nine to five this is why you want to stay with your parents all right let's go on all right get just rolling But this is why you want to stay with your parents as long as possible. At least your parents give you a roof to live over. They might not charge you as much on rent if if they if they aren't already doing that. Um, I mean, some parents won't charge you at all on rent if they understand what's going on in the world. Some parents will help. Mm-hmm. 
some parents will help you try to save up your money to try to get a better place. Some people don't, some people don't realize, a lot of parents don't realize that helping your kid is a good thing. Some parents just be hard on their kids. But this is why I tell you though, because I know a lot of y'all are struggling and battling demons at your parents' house. You want to hurry up and move out. You want to do what you want to do. You want to have whoever you, they want to have whoever you want over at your crib. It sounds good for a little while, but you're going to be working so much, working so much that you not going to really have as much time to yourself like that. You're not going to have as much time to yourself like that because you're going to be working a nine to five or a five to nine, busting your tail off to try to survive. And not too many people get that. But yeah, man, y'all, y'all, y'all youngins, aka Gen Z, gonna have to realize, because I'm a millennial. So y'all youngins will have to realize, bro, the life that you're trying to live is gonna be hard. And you're gonna be a slave to society trying to live this adult life. You stay in your childlike state, man. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy living with your parents. Enjoy not having your own house right now. Because eventually, you will have your own house once you get there. But trying to rush to get your own house because your parents doing this, they treat you like that. Your best bet is just to go outside, spend more time outside. If you don't want to be around that environment, don't keep yourself around a closed environment around your parents. Get outside. Go let some of that energy out. Go find something you love to do. Find something that fits your craft and just do it. No matter what your parents say, just do it. Do it. Do what you love to do. And if you need to work, then work. I'm, I don't condone working a nine to five. I, I, I recommend nobody to work a nine to five. Nine to five is lame. Yes, you hear this coming, you, you hear this come out, moose mouth. Nine to five is lame. Nine to five don't teach you nothing. You don't even have time to come home and think for yourself. You will go in in the morning and come home in the afternoon and your whole day's gone. Especially with this time change. Okay? Especially with this time change. How are you supposed to live? How are you, how are you supposed to bond with your family? Yeah. How are you supposed to live and bond with your family and your kids when you don't even have no time, no energy to spend with them? Because you done gave your energy to these corporate jobs that only see you as a number. They don't care about your mental health. For the kings, male suicide rate is the highest than it ever been. Why? Because school and jobs don't teach you how to regulate your emotions. That's what that's teaching you. That's what that's doing to you. A lot of people fail to realize that. But yeah, man. Like I say, Gen Z and also some of the millennials, we already know. Some of us know. Our parents taught us all our life. Our parents told us all our life. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to work, work, work. You're going to be living paycheck to paycheck. I'm not here to tell you that. I'm not here to tell you that you have to work to make money. You just need to, you just need to learn to manifest and learn to attract money, not chase it. video short but if you like this video go ahead and shoot that like button for your boy hit that comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and as you can see this is the first time in about a month or two since i got in some great sun like this it's it's out they got their little clouds out blocking it every now and then but it's better than no sun it's better than no sun it's better than having rain for weeks on end, cloudiness, rain, gloomy weather. Hey, much love, much love to y'all. I'm out.